hello 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 welcome back to divine destiny guide i'm back with another message for you welcome if this is your first time i hope this message will will resonate with you and as a result you will subscribe share like leave a comment if you felt led to do so i love to read your comments as well thank you i am encouraged by them as well so thank you very much returning soul drivers new soul drivers hi i pray you're doing well wherever you are merry christmas seasons greetings whenever you get this message it, it is timeless because it came upon your feet for a reason so there must be a message here for you so don't be distracted by the time of the year when you when this was recorded so remember god is for you because he's for you who can be against you we are already on top and i'm telling you we are going higher you are highly highly protected and a lot of people they are realizing that they're coming to the realization touch not the lord's anointed do his prophets no harm and so hence these messages and the fact that we we are we are still going strong in spite of we may be bent but we are not broken that shows that god is for us he promised never to leave us nor forsake us and that is something that we can take to the bank because he's not a god that he should lie He's not a man that he should lie. He's not slack according to his promises. So I have already meditated, uh, prayed about the message that God wants us to know that is here for us. So let's get into it. So the first card that came up here, it says, when I am patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. Yes, when I see this card, I am hearing, be still and know that I am God. It's like, be still. It's like, stop talking. Stop stop going back and forth with the enemies, with the wicked. Stop fighting. Stop going down to their levels because I am for you. I am fighting your battles for you. I promise you, I told you, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So when you're patient and you let God do for you what you cannot do for yourself, you realize you have victory. And that is the peace that we have, unlike the oppositions that we have. We have a heavenly father who is protective of his children. You are his favorite. It's like, don't forget who you are. You are royalty. Be patient. Don't run out there unprotected. Let them distract you, pull you out of your character. It's like, don't you know who you are? I see what is going on here. You are not doing them anything. They are the ones, you know, trying to create and wreak havoc in your life. It's like, don't, don't let that get to you. I'm fighting for you. And it says, I am in awe, I am in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. Absolutely. God is guiding you, he's protecting you, he's watching over you. It's like a lot of you, some of you, you may be looking over your life at the narrow escapes that you've had. Where you're like, oh man, it, it, it must, it had to be God. How could I have gotten out of that situation, away from those people? And so you're in awe, you're amazed, you're just like, wow. It's like trying to wrap your mind around of all these billion people on earth, yet still God, angels are protecting you, watching out for you, watching, looking over you. You are highly, highly protected. And all of this resource is, is, is ready and it's available to you just to be still, be patient and let God do for you. Let him fight your battles. When I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever present stream of well-being. Again, letting go and letting God surrendering your will and your ways. It's like it's not it's not it's not for you it's not up to you what we need to realize is that 
for those of you who are in your calling, you are chosen, is that we are here as ambassadors and we're trying to fit in. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We are not meant to fit in here. So we need to surrender to divine surrender. If for a lot of people, it seems such a curse word, but it doesn't matter whether because as above, so below. We have to yield. We have to surrender to traffic light. We have to surrender to the police. We have to surrender to different authorities, bosses, managers. You know, even if you work for yourself, if you go to another company to apply for some paperwork, you have to step, sit in line. You have to surrender to their rules if you want to be served. So it's the same thing. It's, 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 it's just letting go. It's being patient allowing God to take care of you when you surrender your will to the care of, of spirit and of God. When I see universe, I see God. Then you are in tune to an ever present stream of well-being. You're taken care of. You're nourished. You are refreshed because think about it. If you have to, to fight for yourself, then you, you're tired. You look like it. You're worn out. But when you can sleep at night, knowing that God is already up, he's up. You don't have to stay up. The wicked, they may have to stay up after dark to do things in those witching hours. But no, you can go to sleep because God is taking care of you. And the last card says here, I, cho I choose to be a super attractor and have unwavering faith in the universe. So you choose to be a super attractor. You don't chase, you attract. Again, surrender, being in that feminine energy, knowing that God is taking care of you. That's when you have an unwavering, an unlimited faith. You know that God got you no matter what. Like the song says, he's an on-time God. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Saved by the bell, he's an on-time God. So when you put your faith in God, you can receive, you're ready to receive. Because that's what he does. He, he, he calls us the sheep. This is why you are a black sheep. We need a shepherd. And he, he takes pride in taking care of his own. And so for a lot of you, because you're in this receiving mode, in this season where things are coming, manifesting, because you learn to let go and let God, then you may have people who want your secret. They want to know how you do what you do. How is it that you are able to attract how is it that opportunities are flowing, coming in and through your life? And for some of you, a lot of people, they thought that they had it in the bag. So a lot of them started to dance on your grave very early. They started to dance on your grave, rejoicing, celebrating that they got you. And this is what I'm saying is like, when you turn over your enemies to God and he knows them, God takes care of you. So even though they're out there celebrating in the dark, in the night, you can go to sleep because see, they thought they had it in the bag. They thought that man is like, we got him, we got her. They can never come back from this thing. And a lot of you, this is why I'm saying you are in awe. You are in amazement. You, you are like, God, how, how did I, how did I uh, escape that unaliving party? <laughs> that, that, that thing, whatever it is, that was supposed to bring and wreak havoc in your life, to dismantle you, to leave you, you know, just, oh my Yeah, but it's not good. It's not good. And this is why a lot of you, you're in awe of the magnificence guidance that is available to you. 
Archangel Michael, how he's fighting for you. So many people say, Archangel Michael, that's my husband, that's my friend, that's my guy, that's... And yet, and so many of us get that protection from Archangel Michael. So many of us, like I said, for all of these people, billions in the world, yet still, God remembers you. He always show up on time just for you, just for you. It is not his will that any of us should perish. And so as you learn to surrender, you're realizing that when one door closes, another one opens. So you're not crying over spilt milk anymore. No, you're not. Because you learn, because a lot of people left your life and they thought that was the end. Without me, you can't do anything. Without me, you are done. You will never find another man like me, another woman like me. No, you won't. And it's like, won't, won't God do it? Won't God do it? Because as you try to work on yourself, God provide the, the person, the partner for you that you so desire, you so deserve because you let go, you let God, you do the work. This is not about clout. And that's the thing, when you are so in your, people look at you and they think you must be doing something evil in order to get what you have. But it's because of your purity of heart. Not everybody can get there. Because that ego is always tri tripping them up and pulling them back, pulling them down. What a lot of you need to know is not every grin is a genuine smile. Not every grin is a genuine smile. A lot of us, we get carried away by the pretty smile. Not all of them are genuine. Again, the enemy does not show up with three with a three three teeth fork and flaming red. It's handsome, it's beautiful, it's captivating. It's meant to, to hypnotize you, to bedazzle you. Again, it's the heart. It's the heart. And, you know, I really don't, for me, I don't like when people, when I feel something in my heart and my soul, my intuition, that a person is not right, I don't like it when another person wants to convince me that that person is genuine. Because let me tell you, I have given people the benefit of the doubt so many times. And this is one of my lessons in this life is to be able to trust myself, trust how I feel. Because a lot of you men, you could have that with other guys too, where they try to compete. Women, we are very good at that, very competitive. They see you in a relationship, they want what you have, they want your man. They will try to, to tuck it in, suck it in, whatever they got to do to try to, to pull away what you have. It's that, it's that Jezebel, it's, it's that Delilah spirit that these, these you know, low vibrational people have. Because they think that what you have is too good, they should have it. So a lot of you have people in your life that you really should not be trusting. Don't share with them about your relationship. Don't share with them about your job. They're jealous. They will try to throw obstacles and blockages in your way. Again, I'm not telling you anything that I've not gone through myself. And so I am... I am going by faith and I'm listening to my intuition. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I'm not going back down that path again. For me, trust is earned. I prefer to have somebody off until they can prove to me that they are trustworthy for me to let them in, to inch them in more than like in the past, just throw all of my love and everything, give my heart out to people who just played with it. 
So I have learned, and a lot of you, you need to learn this. Of course, if the devil come to you with a frown, you probably, you would run. So this is why a lot of us who have resting beautiful faces, people will look at you and say that you're mean, you're cold, but no. It's just that you're not, you don't have time to fake it. It's like if you're smiling, it's going to be genuine. If you're laughing, it's coming from your heart. You're not just doing it for the camera or for the clout or to, to win anybody over. You are genuine, you are authentic. So not every grin is a genuine smile. And see, a lot of you, where people were dancing on your grave, it's because they judge you. Don't judge a book by its cover. They judge you by your cover, by your outward appearance. Whether you're looking good, you're looking fine, you're looking spiffy, guys, you're handsome, you're sharp, you know, your physique is good, ladies, you're beautiful, whatever you have going on, people can look at you and think, oh, it's because you, you look that way. That's why you have what you have. Sometimes you could look humble. You could even look like Cinderella and people still pass you over because you are not up to par. You are not, you are not, you don't measure up to society's standard. You shouldn't be a part of our group. You don't fit in. Well, guess what? You are not here to fit in. Because in order to fit in, it means you're going to have to dim. You're going to have to bow. You're going to have to lower your standards. Don't forget who you are. You are the prize. You are the prize. You are the gift. And so they judged you from the outward part. And so this is why it's best to just live your life. I like that by Rihanna. Live your life. Yeah. I think it's Rihanna and Tia. Yeah. Yeah. So live your life. Because either way, you will not be able to appease people. So you just do what you have to do. You know your heart is in the right place. You're not hurting anybody. It's pleasing unto God. Unacceptable. Carry yourself with dignity, with grace. Let people talk. They're going to talk anyway. Yeah. Show me your company and I will tell you who you are. Show me your company and I will tell you who you are. I will show you who you are. So again, like the saying, you lie with a dog, you rise with flea. So the people you hang around with, more than likely, they will rub off on you. So if you, if you are with people who are negative, then that may influence you as well. Because then you're going to be at odds. It's like birds of a feather flock together, you know? So it's important to make sure that we are, we are hanging out with people who are nourishing us, watering us, um, equal, give and take. Not any one-sided relationships or connections. Yeah. Every dog have their day. Absolutely. So again, some people, like I said, they try dancing on your grave. They thought it was the, it's the end of you. Not realizing they are going to have their day. For some of you, you you've, you've had hard times in your life. And people count you out. Not realizing that this life, it's a, it's a, it's a cycle. It's a journey. And it's the wheel. One moment you're on top. Next, you're on the side, and then before you know it, you're at the bottom. So it's like, don't laugh at another person when they're having obstacles and challenges. Because it's going to come a day when you're at the bottom of the wheel. When things are stagnant, things are lacking. So just be mindful of how we treat people when we're going up. Because we, they may be the same ones we pass. Uh, you know, when you're on your way down, you pass them again. So be careful. Queen of Swords. So this could be they want your secret. So for a lot of you, P 
people want your secret. Queen of Swords, you're intelligent. You're a warrior. You have been through some things. Breakup, heartaches, divorce, rejection, separation. For you, you live and you learn. Life is a lesson. It's like the secret is no secret. You have to do the work. You learn to have boundaries. You have the sword. You, you, you Now you can cut off smell the bullshit the nonsense from a mile away you have zero tolerance for fake and phoniness you're not here to appease to people's standard you're honest you're protective of yourself you're witty you're smart you're brilliant you're intelligent you're a good leader and it's because of the, the things that you have experienced in life that you're now following your intuition. You've been played with for too long. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. I know I have guys who watch as well, but you're standing firm on your truth. You're unwavering. You're not allowing anybody to tell you otherwise. So a lot of people with the dancing on your grave, they wanted to bring towers into your life. They wanted you to crash and burn, sudden upheaval. You're, they think you were too uh, proud. So they were trying to break your pride. They want to, to pretty much topple you over. You know, they think you're on a high horse. So they want to bring you down. They want to bring disaster in your life. So they were dancing on your grave because, and some of you, maybe they did that where they cause a tower or shake up in your life and they counted you out. And so the card, every dog have their day. And it's like from now, like a phoenix, you're rising, you're risen from the ashes because they counted you out. It's like they started to celebrate too soon. Five of swords, one door closed, another one opens. So a lot of you, people try to close doors for you. People try to work against you to manipulate things, pull strings behind the scene to create conflicts and drama. People who wanted to win at all costs, they were abusing their power to cause conflict in your life. They are haters. They hate you. They wanted to see you defeated. And so now you're realizing that when you know what? When one door closes, another one opens. Because what God has for you, it is for you. And nobody and no one can take it away. And it's that's that's the truth and nothing but the truth. Not every grin is a genuine smile. It's the eight of swords. So a lot of people, they use that grin to trick you. Because they want you to be trapped again with the enemies coming with lies, swords, communication. They come with deceit. They come with everything sounding so charming because they want to have you bound, victimized, helpless, isolated. And a lot of us fall for it. This is eight of swords. This is like eight swords. Lies, conflicts, manipulation. They leave you confused. They leave you bound. Because it's like you can't tell the fake, the fake smile from the phony people. So then sometimes if you're not careful, you will become resentful as well. Because you've been tricked so many times, but you only can blame yourself. Because you refuse. You refuse to look at the heart, the real character, look at people over time. Wow. Don't judge a book by the cover with the Ten of Swords here. Yeah, a lot of people betrayed you. They left you defeated, broken down to hit rock bottom. Because they think you either don't fit the part or you're doing too much. Either way, people try to break you down. They want to defeat you. It, Believe it or not, it gives a lot of people pleasure in seeing other people hurt. And a lot of the times, this because for Ten of Swords, these are people who come close enough to you, some of you. 
Some of you people are followers and so they just follow a ring leader in order to create havoc in your life, to bring you defeat because they think that you're too much or they don't value you. They don't want to get to know the real you. They just assume and we know what assumption assume is making an ass out of you and me. And so you don't have a chance because people just look at you and then they, it's like right away, they, they got this idea in their head. And that was it, that was it. Show me your company and I will show you who you are, the world. Achievement, successful endings, possibilities, completion. So a lot of you, you're closing out a cycle of hanging out, doing life with people who no longer serve you. People who have been working against you, they hate you, but yet still they want to know your secret. They want to be like you, but yet still they don't like you. So you're coming to the realization of this and you're realizing, look, these people that I'm hanging around with, they're just here to tear me down. They really don't mean me any good. They really don't mean me any good. And at the back of the card here, it's the strength. It's like you're strong. You have the inner strength, the bravery, the compassion, and the courage to move on. It's like with, with friends like these who need enemies. Because now you're realizing that these people, they really were just in your life to create burdens with the Ten of Wands, to make you overwhelm, burden you down. They just want to, to, to have you down and out constantly. And a lot of them, they're watching you. Page of Swords here. They're watching you. But also, they're watching you being energetic for a lot of you you're talkative you're communicating you're vigilant and you're using your head head over heart you're wiser now so a lot of them they're seeing you take your power back as well too and with the temperance they're seeing you balance you're having meaning finding meaning to life finding patience we have the patience here so you're finding patience. You're an earth angel. And you know that it says, when I'm patient, I let the universe do for me. I let God do for me what I cannot do for myself. And that is getting rid of toxic people, releasing the burdens, the struggles, asking God to reveal to you your, your, your enemies, your friends, the people who are for you, the people who are grinning in your face and you may be confused as to if they are for you. Why don't you pray about it? Pray about it and you will get justice. You will have clarity. You will have truth. Pray about it. Pray about it. Ask God, tell God to remove the people in your life. Some of them are people from your past that you can't let go of. Some of them, they are lovers, whether it's romantic, platonic, business connections, they're not celebrating you. You need to go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated and allow God to, hello, if you let go and let God, you will see God turn things in your favor. Change will happen. You will walk in. You will step into your destiny. You will have blessings. Let go and let God. Let God fight your battle. And you will get justice. And you will be able to have peace. Four of Swords. You will be able to find rest. Healing. You'll be able to take a break from all those swords and those burdens that these people try to throw on you. Yeah, allow God to show up and show out for you. And you will get your confidence back because a lot of these people, that's what they wanted to ruin for you with that tower. They wanted to knock you a peg or a square down because it's like you're too much. You're too happy. 
you're looking too good with the ones you're too passionate it's like you have such a positive outlook on life they want to wipe that smile off your face it's like you're not coward that you know you're fearless you're confident you are looking to the future with you know bright eye bushy tail they don't like that they don't like that they want to create illusions but no nine of cups that's yours wealth you've been proud of your accomplishments your achievements i love this for you i love this for us until next time please remember to like share and subscribe again equal give and take six of pentacles that's what you need as you move on to calmer water six of swords with your queen of wands move away from all the illusions the moon there use your intuition to get away from all the lack and the stagnant connections that's no longer serving you take care until next time be blessed